we actually have two slugs here. So okay. this large one that is really obvious, um, this is the Spanish slug. And here, this little guy... Just show it to the camera, everybody this, be warned. This little guy, he's a grey field slug. OK, so we can see so, the so, large so one now. If you look, look down there, you can see. So the, the big one, that, that's what we're talking about. This is this new Spanish species that's, yeah. uh, that's come over. And both of them uh, affect crops. Um, so that's one of the things that scientists are most worried about. OK, so that's the big one. And then just to get a sense of the scale, this, uh, if you can see there, is that a sort of normal slug there? So slugs come in a lot of different sizes. This little uh, grey field slug here uh, also causes problems uh, with crops. Yeah. And as you can imagine, the Spanish slugs are going to eat a lot more of the crops. Mm -hmm. And they also reproduce in much larger numbers. OK. Um, what are you asking people to do about these slugs? Well, we'd like people to log on to our website, www.slugwatch.co.uk, uh, if they see any slugs, particularly any strange behaviour, mm -hmm. large numbers of slugs, um, and take a photo and, and let us know. We'd also like to know, obviously, if they see any predators eating them, if they see mm. any hedgehogs or any birds eating them, because it does seem that their, uh, their slime uh, is very off-putting to predators, which may give them an added advantage. So, so, so the large one, the Spanish one, I mean, they're, they're relatively new to Britain, are they? Yeah, uh, this slug, uh, the Spanish slug, is the Arian vulgaris, and it was discovered in 2012, in the spring, by Dr Ian Bedford at the John Innes Centre. Mm -hmm. And he uh, thought it was very unusual because there were very, very large numbers in his garden. He's finding hundreds and hundreds of them. So he sent off... Uh, uh, slugs to uh, Dr. Les Noble at Aberdeen University, and he confirmed it wasn't what they thought it might be, the Spanish stealth slug, which has been in the UK since the 1940s, mm. but it was actually this new Spanish slug, Vulgaris. And the concern being what, that they breed very quickly, that as you say there aren't many predators, are you concerned that they really could spread and cause us problems? I think the big concern is that potentially they could spread across the country and maybe take on some of the traits if they hybridize and combine with native slugs that give them frost tolerance. So these slugs have uh, evolved and adapted in a warm environment in the Mediterranean. They produce their lots of slime to protect them from the hot conditions. And if they can combine that ability with the ability to cope with frost and the cold conditions of our native slugs, then we could be looking at a slug that really is going to affect food security. But now they're closer together, we're going to give people at home a sense of scale, actually, because we couldn't really see them both before. But if we can see both the slugs there... Uh, the one with the orange round it is the, the one you're looking for, and the other one is this, this little tiny yeah, one. Yeah, that's the little grey field slug, and that's the Spanish slug.